Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome in. My name's Amanda and this is the Connected Conduit where I tippy tap in and I bring through messages for your greatest and highest good. All right, let's see what spirit wants you to know right here, right now. I'm going to use the Priestess of Light Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor and Kimberly Weber. Healing Earth, the power to give and receive healing. It's a 46. Okay, so I feel like you have power in your hands here to create. Create anything you want. It, this could be a work of art. You could be a massage therapist. You could be a Reiki healer. But I feel like the, the divine uses you as a channel, okay, to help people transmute their energy give powerful hands powerful hands a lot of magic flows through your fingers deep emotions unknown feelings past life influences a number 15 okay so you may be experiencing a lot of really heavy emotions right now and you're like what is this what is going on where are these emotions coming from why am i crying why am i feeling all of these intense emotions right now all right it's it's because something has been triggered from a past life Okay, and it's being triggered so that you can acknowledge it and then forgive it and then let it go. Okay, so you don't have to know why, you just have to acknowledge the feelings as they come up. Okay, um, I'll dig into that a little bit deeper to see what's going on. Summoning power, instinct, intellect control i feel like you're learning how to control your powers you guys all right you're very very powerful but i feel like most of you watching you're just learning how to harness just how much power that you have okay you could be new to whatever it is you're doing here okay um you could just be discovering your spiritual gifts and learning how to use them and harness them and regulate them. And um, if you have strong spiritual gifts, then you're most likely highly empathic. So you're very sensitive and you might have very deep emotions or mood swings because you're picking up on other people's emotions. Okay, if you're having mood swings, um, I'm not a medical professional, but from a spiritual standpoint, I can tell you from personal experience <laughs> that you're picking up. You're picking up on other people's emotions and you have to figure out what's yours and what is someone else's. And the, the best way to understand the difference or to know the difference is to spend time in meditation by yourself, getting to know you without anyone else around you right getting to know your own energy what does your energy feel like when you're by yourself meditating and then when you're able to or when you're around other people and you're experiencing other emotions you're going to know like oh this isn't me this is not me this is coming from someone else someone else here has trauma heartache um someone here has low self-esteem i can feel it right but it may have taken you a while to realize this, or it might be something that you're still figuring out, okay? But you have really, really fierce, protective spirit guides. You have two spirit guides who are by you all the time, okay? Um, you have very strong psychic gifts. I'm just, I'm really, really, really getting that. You have a strong sixth sense about people. You just know. You just know what you know, and that's that. 
You don't know how you know, you just know. Okay. I want to pull a little bit about these deep... Actually, I'm going to go to Healing Earth. What's this about? Sacred Breath and Sound. Life Force Communication. Okay, so your healing powers are in your hands and they're, they're also connected to your voice with communication. So if you're being called to speak, sing, or write, then this is your green light because even the sound of your voice is very healing for people, okay? I feel that your life's purpose is linked to some sort of career where you are speaking, you're communicating with people. Or you could be using your hands to heal as well. Um, it's like life force runs through you, okay? You're a clear channel for this life force to run through you and you can direct it, okay, anywhere you choose. I feel that you're very playful, innocent, lighthearted. You could be quite connected to the earth, um, but also the water. You could love swimming. You could love dolphins. You could love wolves. Herbal medicine. Okay, we have innovation. New creations coming out. Oh, wow. That's interesting. It's almost like your deep emotions are going to help you create something here. It's like they're going to inspire you. You're, you're a very original thinker, okay? You're very original in everything that you do. You're not a follower. <laughs> you are a leader for sure, for sure, for sure. Ooh, telepathy, telepathy. <laughs> Put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. Telepathy. <laughs> telepathy. Okay, so transmission, perception, communication. We have two cards with communication in it. Okay, so there's, you can connect and communicate with the divine very, very effortlessly. Okay, I feel that you could be quite clear audience, which is clear hear hearing. You're clear seeing, and you also feel like you feel, and you also have clear cognizance, clear cognizance as well, where it's just like clear knowing. You just know, but you don't know why you know. You just know. <laughs> okay. So. You're really on point. Your intuition is on point. It's very, very sharp. Extremely sharp. Man, you have a fierce spirit team. I just want to say this again. If you don't know, then I, I just want to tell you, you have a very fierce spirit team around you who are protecting you. Um, man, oh man, like, wow. You have no worries, okay? You are so protected. No one will step to you. No one will challenge you. No one's going to get in your way. You have such a strong energy and you are very, very highly protected. I mean, look at this wolf in this card. Look at This wolf is like, you stay back. You stay there. Don't even think about coming close to this empress. I will, I will destroy you. <laughs> it's like that. You'll be in big trouble. Don't do it. Okay. And then in this card, these wolves, you know, when this card came out, I was heavily getting that message that you have two spirit guides heavily protecting you.
for those of you who are a divine feminine and you're you resonate with being on a twin flame connection with a divine masculine your divine masculine is energetically protecting you they love you fiercely and i feel like they're doing i don't know it's like they're doing work behind the scenes that you might not be aware of in the 5d in the spiritual realm it's like your masculine is protecting you um, or they're sending this energy around you where it's like you give off this vibe of don't f with me okay and the reason why you give off this vibe is because your divine masculine is encircling you with this energy of don't mess with my divine feminine like i will destroy you <laughs> i will literally destroy you <laughs> okay i'm seriously getting that and when i say destroy i mean i will set clear healthy boundaries with you <laughs> okay I'm not talking about anything unsavory here, okay? They will defend you. They will, I don't know. It's just, wow, what is this? This is powerful. Your spirit team is clearing the way for you. They're clearing the path forward. Um... You have strong telepathy with your counterpart at this time. Strong telepathy with your ancestors and the divine, your spirit team. And they really want you to trust it, okay? Trust what you're hearing. Trust what you're sensing and getting. Hmm. Because some of you... Some of you have someone or it could just be a group of people who are sending a little bit of negative vibes your way and your spirit team's like not letting that touch you at all, okay? These could just be people, for example, let's say you're online, let's say you're on YouTube and you post stuff and you're you're having a glow up and you're doing really well. You might just have viewers who are like watching you and are getting triggered by what you're putting out there and they're just sending you evil eye. They don't even know that they're doing it, but they're doing it, right? Because they're jealous and that's a low vibration. And so if you are well known or if you're in the public eye or if, you know, um, people know about you, then they could be sending you negative vibes, but your spirit team is blocking that and protecting you. Your masculine is blocking that and protecting you. Your masculine is heavily, heavily energetically around you. And I'm sure you already know this. I'm sure I'm not telling you anything new. I'm sure this is just clarifying what you're already sensing. Like, they're very protective. They are your warrior. Okay. They will go to battle for you. They will. They'll go to battle for you. Spiritual battle. Spiritual battle, you guys. Okay? Yeah, the star and the hierophant. Spiritual. <laughs> the spiritual battle. Page of Swords. Spirit wants you to research, gather information, be curious, pick up a new book, learn, learn, be curious, get out there, okay? Um, learn about these magical powers that you have. Learn about your spiritual gifts. Learn about harnessing your gifts. Learn about whatever it is you're being called to learn. Maybe it's Reiki, massage, um, herbal medicine, plant medicine, Whatever it is here, you guys, I feel like you're you're curious about something and spirit really wants you to pursue that, okay? Look into it. Dig deeper. Register for that little program or pick up a new book. 
learn a new skill. Ask some questions. Ooh, Ace of Wands. So unknown feelings, past life influences. You could be having... I have to fix the cards. I just realized that it's throwing me off. Here we go. Okay. So whatever is coming up for you, it's going to inspire an innovative passionate new creation ace of wands what is this what are these deep emotions what is this triggering wow the high priestess my goodness okay so you were very powerful in past lives okay you could have been someone very spiritual. You could have been labeled as a witch, but you are a healer, okay? You are a healer, a spiritual guide. You're very magical. You hold a lot of deep, deep wisdom and knowledge. You could have been persecuted in past lives for your spiritual gifts. And so in this lifetime, you're nervous about using your spiritual gifts because, yeah, um, like witches were burned at the stake, you know, that that would totally traumatize your soul if something like that happened, right? I feel like that that happened, okay? Especially with the Ace of Wands here, Spirit just instantly drew my attention to the flame when I said witches were burned at the stake, okay? So I feel for most of you watching, that happened to you in a past life. In this lifetime, you are freaked out to use your gifts because you have a deep-seated fear about being harmed because of who you are and what you can do because of your powers and your magic and your healing abilities. But in this lifetime, you are safe. You are safe. You can use your spiritual gifts, your skills, and your, your talents. Okay? You don't have to be afraid of them. See, the star, you are safe. You're a healer. That's who you are. You're a healer, but you have been mistreated and harmed in past lives, you know, and worse, worse than harmed, you guys. Like, bad thing. Oh, my God. I was going to say, um, you know, a lot of people were hung as well for their gifts, and we have the hangman. So many of you were persecuted at in past lives for being a healer okay you could have been burned at the stake or hung which is awful i i mean the things that humanity has done to each other it's just it's oh it's unbelievable unbelievable anyways you're safe you're safe to come out and use your gifts okay and if you're not sure about your gifts, if you don't really know what they are or how to use them or how to develop them, then what you can do is find a mentor, register for a program, talk to other people in the spiritual field, read a book, something like that, okay? Be curious, get more information, all right? Four of Pentacles, you are afraid you're insecure you're worried about opening up and sharing your light with the world see how this woman is clutching this purse close to her chest it's like no I don't want to do that I don't want to do that I want to hold back I don't want to give my spiritual gifts to anyone because deep down inside you have this subconscious fear around being hurt okay I saw the six of cups that speaks to past lives past life influence here Nine of Pentacles. So this speaks to knowing your worth, knowing your value. You could be opening up your own business and it's going to be very, very fruitful here for you. Spirit wants you to know that these powers that you have, your healing abilities, they have the potential to bring in a lot of money for you, a lot of abundance, a lot of stability if you decide to pursue this, if you decide to go down this path. 
you're very wise. You're very pure. You have a lovely energy, a very healing energy about you. I'm noticing all the dried herbs that are hanging around this woman. And I feel that this is what you were. You were a healer. You could have used herbs in past lives to help people who were unwell or ill. Maybe some of you are being called to learn more about essential oils or herbology, natural medicine. And if that's the case, Spirit's saying, yes, absolutely go for it. Pick up a book, register for a program, learn something new, have fun with it because you're very, very gifted and the world needs your gifts. Six of Cups. I feel that you have past life influence really affecting you. You have the lovers coming out. So it's safe to follow your heart. <laughs> you have, for those of you who resonate with being on a twin flame journey, you guys, you will have union in this lifetime. Okay. You will have union. And the reason why you're having union is because you're, you've surrendered it up. You have come into union with self or you're about to. And it's just, it's meant to be. It's meant to be for you in this lifetime. I'm heavily, heavily getting that for you. If you don't resonate with being on a twin flame journey, then I feel your spiritual gifts, when you actually start tapping into them and using them, if you decide to do so, it's going to align you with the love of your life. If you're not looking for love, this is something that you're creating from the heart space. What is this? What are you creating? What is this new innovation? Four of Swords. It could have to do with healing, helping people heal, overcome, transmute their pain. It could have to do with um, meditating or helping people with their mental state. Hmm. Yeah, the King of Swords, it has to do with communication. You could be a teacher, a counselor, a channel, a conduit for the divine to work through. And it's, it's going to help people heal. Many of you are meant to use your voice and liberate people from pain, sorrow, grief. You could be a grief counselor. You could maybe write a book that really helps people overcome heartache. Um, you could be a medium, a psychic, anything, anything. But you're, yeah, Six of Pentacles. You can give and receive healing. You have you are very gifted and you're generous. Wow. You have healing gifts. Healing gifts. It's it's looking like recently you've been inspired to learn something new or to research or dig into a certain topic and spirit really wants you to follow your intuition on that okay you're being guided and there's no need to fear your gifts queen of pentacles my 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 look at you look at you so you could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn but you don't have to be um you know you're, if you don't know your own worth right now, you're about to, okay? Because the Queen of Pentacles speaks to knowing your own worth, knowing your value, being very confident, being very good at what you do, being able to generate your own income. And it's a lot of money. It's a lot of financial stability. And it's yours. It's yours, okay? It's yours and yours alone. You're going to be able to make a lot of money with this if you choose to do so, you guys. This could be your own business, this could be your own business for sure. You could be opening up 
a healing center or your own uh, business online, okay? A healing business online. There could be some fear here though with the devil, right? Some fear around pursuing this. Yeah. Spirit wants you to know that the path is clear. You're going to be successful. All is well. You are protected. The Ten of Swords. So if you've had a painful past, Spirit wants you to know that that's over now. That's over. Okay? And there could even be some betrayal from past lifetimes that are still lingering in your subconscious with the Ten of Swords here. You could have been brutally betrayed in a past life or even in this lifetime, you guys. Five of Swords. Yeah, and the star. There's this fear around being a powerful healer, and it's linked. It's linked to memories of the past. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. And the Empress. So you could have been someone who was very, very generous, but you were taken advantage of, you know, whether it was this lifetime or another lifetime. You could be worried that people are going to hurt you or betray you because of your gifts. And I'm telling you, this really is a deep-seated fear that goes back many, many, many years to like many past lives that you've had, past lifetimes here. Yeah, justice. It's like, you could have, res oh, gosh, you could have been like, like I'm hearing like Salem witch trials and stuff like that. Like the justice system, you know, being persecuted, um, wrongly accused in, in the legal system of being a witch when you weren't, you were a healer, you were wrongly accused. You could, and again, you could have been like burned at the stake or hung and that trauma has stayed with you. The Queen of Wands. So you are protected, okay? The Queen of Wands has a black cat right here. And again, I heard you are protected. You are safe. Look at all these candles around you. You're good, okay? You're good. Any negative energy that is sent your way, it's just instantly dissipated or it's returned to sender. You know, no one can touch you. Nothing can touch you. You're good. You're solid. You're golden. You can go after your passions, your dreams, you can express yourself freely. You can show the world what you've got because you're meant to be in the public eye. You're meant to be seen. You're meant to be heard. You're very charismatic. You know, you're very attractive. People are instantly drawn to you. They, they instantly like you. You're very personable. Very down to earth. Whatever it is you, whatever powers you have here, whatever spiritual gifts you have, they're really amazing. And people are going to be so surprised when you start sharing your gifts. They're going to be like, oh my goodness, <laughs> that's so cool. I didn't know you could do that. You're like, ta-da, <laughs> right? She's looking at the flame in her hand and she's raising a stick here or a flute. I don't know what it is a wand. <laughs> She's going, wow, look at me. Look what I can do. I didn't know I could do that. So I feel that the more you learn about your gifts, the more you're going to grow and um, you're going to discover new things about yourself that you never knew you could do, which is really going to excite you. It will inspire you and you're going to be able to create something really wonderful here that can help people heal and it's needed, okay? Your healing gifts are needed. So that's why Spirit's saying, come out of the spiritual closet. Come on out. You're okay. You're safe, okay? Yeah, three of swords. It's like you're really deeply wounded. 
from past betrayals. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? Ooh, okay. I have a past life energy deck here that I'm going to use. It's also by Sandra Ann Taylor. Oh, I apparently I like her. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Oh, that's funny. Please tell us a little bit more about this past life for the collective. Archangel Zachiel, compassion, freedom, forgiveness. Can you tell us a little bit more? Archangel Gabriel, communication of all kinds. Wow, okay, another card with communication in it. Maybe you were persecuted for speaking up against injustices. Maybe you were persecuted for sharing your voice or your wisdom or your spiritual knowledge. Resourcefulness, intelligence, mental action, right thinking. Hmm. I feel that in previous past lives, you were always afraid of sharing your voice, your wisdom, and your knowledge. You were afraid of like speaking up and sharing what you what you what you knew. Um, you were very intelligent. You were very very smart, but I feel like you held back from sharing your intelligence or your knowledge with people for whatever reason. I I, I don't know why exactly. Again, it could it's just like fear. It could be fear. Yeah, I just put the deck on fear. Phobias, anxiety, and overcoming fears. So it could just simply be fear around being a powerful person or sharing your voice. But again, I feel I feel it's because you were persecuted for doing so. And you could have had a past life where you were um, in Scotland. I don't know what year this this is, but they're wearing kilts. Um, oh gosh, I have no idea of telling what time that is maybe the i don't know 1500s 1600s something like that you could have spoken out against war and you could have been persecuted for that expressive talents, creativity, and the arts. So you're meant to do something creative here, okay? You're meant to express yourself through the arts or the psychic arts or whatever it is here that you're being called to do, okay? You're very, very, very talented. We have deceit on the bottom of the deck. It says betrayal and manipulation. So yeah, you were betrayed. You were, ten of swords. You were betrayed in a past life. And you suffered. Yeah, this, this person or this situation, it... You had a loss of power. You had a loss of control. And in this lifetime, it's like you're needing to take back your power. You're needing to reclaim your power, take back control of your life, embrace your gifts and express yourself freely without the fear of being betrayed. Okay, you could have been betrayed by a family member even, which, wow, right? Like, ouch. 
Ooh, shaman, healing energy. Look, I'm telling you, if you're interested in being a shaman or learning about that, um, that's your green light. Or if you're just interested in the healing arts, this is your green light because you really, really are special. You're very, very special. You have a special gift. You're very healing. I'm really drawn to the plants that the shaman and this child are holding so plant medicine plant magic herbs okay that could be something that you're being called to do or learn more about or set into practice you're meant to have justice in this lifetime okay justice discipline and harmony it's like karma is balancing out for you in this lifetime okay wow okay so Anything else? Um, should I get a sort of light for you? Sure. Why not? <laughs> Archangel Michael, sort of light. And I might get a Divine Master Oracle as well because they're calling to me. Oh, what flipped over here? Put your creative energy into action. <laughs> wow, you guys. There's a lot of messages around creativity, expression, creative arts. Put your creative energy into action. Archangel Gabriel joins me to spark your creativity, help you communicate your vision, and motivate you to create something beautiful. Wow. Wow. That basically sums up the whole reading here, you guys. So Archangel Gabriel is assisting you, okay, um, in terms of helping you to communicate or share your voice or share your vision or put yourself out there. The divine is going to inspire you. So follow your heart and trust this information that comes in. Okay, and run, run with it, run with it. Take that stick of inspiration and go for it. Have no fear. You may have to step out of your comfort zone a little bit, though, is what Spirit's saying, okay? You may have, have to step out of your comfort zone in order to go for this. Mother Mary, miraculous encounter, divine experiences, do not be afraid of being powerful. Holy, I am getting full body goosebumps. That is so beautiful. I'm almost moved to tears right now, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so beautiful. That message was coming through earlier. It's like you're afraid. You're afraid of being powerful. You're afraid of being heard. You're afraid of being seen because you've been persecuted for that in past lives and maybe even in this lifetime. Maybe people from this lifetime were telling you that you're not good enough, right? Or to be quiet or that you have nothing of value to share, which is BS, by the way. If, that, if people are saying things like that to you, they have issues. They have major, major issues, okay? So don't be afraid of being powerful. Embrace your gifts. Embrace your power and show the world what you can do. There's no need to fear your gifts or putting yourself out there, okay? So you can call in Mother Mary to help assist you, support you, and guide you, and comfort you. She's blue. Blue is the color of the throat chakra. Mother Mary is going to help you speak your truth, okay? So is Gabriel. Call in Archangel Gabriel and Mother Mary if you feel called. They both want to work with you and assist you along your path. Okay, so, wow. Cool reading, you guys. And I kind of got off track when it came to your Divine Masculine, but just know... Like they, they are heavily, heavily with you energetically if you feel 
you know, like you resonate with being on that journey, at that twin flame journey, okay? Um, okay, they're like, they have your back, all right? So this is what I have for you for this one, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated with you. I hope you got something positive from it. I'm sending you all the good vibes. I'm wishing you all the best on your journey. And remember, stay aligned, my friends. Stay aligned.